Did to come near to the day that the trial was going to begin, had he realized I had enough evidence against him. Um, and he panicked and offered me, offered to pay my lawyers um, if I would go away. Uh, away that from the audience, eh? when uh, this one MDB scandal exploded, you also made another very shocking revelation, which is that uh, you claimed to have evidence that PASH received 90 million from AMNO in 2016. This revelation was when you were interviewed by BFM Radio four years ago. Then what happened? All PASH supporters were very angry at the revelation. Then the PASH president has uh, filed a summons against you. Then PASH supporters were instructed to donate to finance the legal cost. Some give 10 ringgit, some give 1,000 ringgit. Those are the past supporters who are obsessed with past, especially the president. In the initial round, you agreed to fight this case in court, likewise with past. Just the first round, past claimed to have won the case. All past supporters believe and are happy with what they say is the success of past. <laughs> then in 2016, suddenly, Hadi Awang wants to settle out of court with a total payment of uh, 1.4 million. This is very strange. Why does PAS pay if they win the case? Maybe you can clarify this issue. Well, they didn't ever win the case. Um, and of course, you know, this is what, you know, it's, it's always better not to lie or misrepresent things because um, in the end, I'm a great believer that in the end, lies get revealed. Um, they made a lot of noise saying they'd won the case, whereas in fact, I, I think they won some little, uh, you know, technical judgment about um, some, uh, you know, how we should uh, fight the case, you know, um, and my lawyers said this is such a ridiculous case, we should throw this out of court on, on this, um, and it was agreed, actually I was asked by the judge, um, you know, uh, are you sure you want to do this, because I think uh, the uh, I think they will appeal if I, if I rule for this and um, uh, the past uh, uh, lawyers jumped up and said yes we will appeal and the judge turned to me and he said you know it could be more expensive doing it this way I think we should just have a full trial that's what they won <laughs> um, so then of course yap 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 Raja Petro of thingy uh, he goes to uh, his he starts yapping saying that this is a victory uh, and this, of course, was all political because they were going into an election. So unfortunately, they lied to their supporters and said they'd won the case before we had even started to, to even look at the case, to judge the actual case. So they put themselves, uh, you know, but afterwards, Hadi said it didn't matter. But Hadi has made clear that um, he's happy to lie, hasn't he? Um, if, if you're lying in what Hadi thinks is a good cause, then it's okay to lie. Um, I, he gave us a big lecture over the last few days about how he doesn't uh, work with immoral uh, immoral politicians. Uh, he, doesn't he doesn't believe in money politics um, or bribes, uh, but actually his party did take bribes. It did indulge in money politics. It was secretly paid by UMNO. It was pretending to be UMNO's enemy, whereas in fact it was secretly UMNO's ally in the election. Um, these were all things that I had, I was arguing in my case. And when it finally started to come near to the day that the trial was going to begin, had he realized I had enough evidence against him? Um, and he panicked and offered me, offered to pay my lawyers um, if I would go away. My lawyer said, yes, yes, we want to be paid. <laughs> and so I settled. But I think I made my point. I didn't change a single word in the article he was complaining about. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, past attitude that is often blames other parties uh, actually is to cover its own weakness. It's not something new. Yesterday, past blamed other races besides Malays and as corrupt. Past linked Pakatan Harapan supposedly surrounded by corrupt people while they themselves are in the government which is also with the court cluster. This is annoying and looks very stupid. This, uh, there is one audio that you also reveal. The Abdul's voice at a meeting who admitted uh, for taking money from Amno. Is that also one of the clear proofs of past taking money from Amno? Yes, it certainly was one. I also had bank slips that showed they'd taken money <laughs> from Amno. 
They knew those would come up in court because we'd submitted them as evidence. Um, there was no doubt that uh, Amno was secretly taking, sorry, PAS was secretly taking money from Amno, and that was the point I made. Um, and uh, they had claimed before the election they were not in alliance with UMNO. There was obviously by the time it was coming to court, they had gone into open alliance with UMNO, something they'd lied about before the election. So um, as I say, uh, Hadi has now gone on the record to say lying is okay as long as it's him that's lying and he thinks it's in a good cause, by which he means it's good for his party. So he has, let's put it this way, he has double standards. And, uh, you know, I think when we read things like his speech, when, when we read his speech from two days ago about morality, honestly, it's so, you have to laugh. It's so, <laughs> it's so outrageous. It's so outrageous. As you say, he is in a government that is run and dominated uh, by crooks, people who are being charged. Even people within UMNO are suggesting that they should dispense with uh, MPs who are actually, you know, in the middle of a corruption court case. Even some UMNO people think that uh, that would be a correct thing to do, but not PASS, it seems. PASS is, is happy to work with people who are being charged for the most outrageous crimes. <laughs> What can you say? What can you say to a man who uh, who claims to be a cleric, who claims to be religious, who has such double standards and openly preaches them? You know, he's not the only one. He's not the only one. You see them in America, you know, before they get found out for, you know, having maybe a secret sex life. You see these, which I'm not accusing Hadi of, let me make clear. Um, but you see these people who stand on television, they preach, they preach morality, they preach God, they tell everyone to trust them. And then on the other hand, they are willing to uh, do the exact opposite, taking money, lying about the fact they're taking money, uh, working with people who have been shown to be dishonest and all the rest.